If this turbulent past is any guide to the future, life, and humans in particular, will face further battles for survival as the planet continues along its path of change. Life is highly dependent on the Earth. What the Earth gives us is what we have to deal with. It's hard to separate completely the processes of geology and the processes of life. Life, in some ways, drives geology, and geology creates the environments in which life thrives. Our first major challenge will be the climate. At the start of the 21st century, we may worry about global warming, but most scientists recognize that we are in a gap between ice ages. Our whole civilization has occurred in a brief warm period, 10,000 years so far. This warmth has proved crucial. It's definitely not coincidence that civilizations developed over this period of time, because the climate is so favorable to our species to develop and flourish. The period we live in the moment climate-wise over the last, let's say, 10,000 years is exceptionally stable. It's an almost unbelievably stable if you, if you look into the geological record. It certainly will not stay forever like that. Even if our industrial economies affect a global warming over the next couple of centuries, they can do no more than delay the inevitable. The continent's current positions, keeping the polar oceans cool, mean that in just 15,000 years, a new ice age may occur. The New York area is going to be completely changed by the next cycle of glaciation. And at some point, glaciers are going to move down and grind New York into the North Atlantic Ocean. But even if we survive the big freezes, there will be greater challenges to come. As plate tectonics move the continents and end the ice ages, coastal regions will be engulfed and whole countries will disappear. 200 million years from now, a new supercontinent, Pangaea Ultima, is due to take shape as first the Mediterranean and then the Atlantic Ocean are swallowed up. There will be continents eventually colliding with the east coast of North America. So New York, in the long run, will be destroyed in a continent-to-continent -continent collision and will be uh, completely crushed and thrust upward as a new mountain range. The Earth will once again be thrown into deadly turmoil. Oxygen levels and surface temperatures could fluctuate wildly and lead to new mass extinctions. But even the trauma of supercontinental disruption is nothing compared to what will follow. Everything will grind to a halt when the plate tectonic engine finally stops. The maintenance of habitability on this planet is involved with the plate tectonic cycle. It's not an infinite cycle. There is an end in sight. It's billions of years from now, but we know eventually the system will wear out. The fires and the depths that have dominated activity on the surface will one day use up their fuel. And the story of planet Earth will be over. Without its burning heart, the Earth will share what many believe was the fate of Mars. The atmosphere and oceans will be stripped away and the surface will become a bone dry, barren desert. The planet will be dead. But this is a picture of an incredibly distant future. For at least the next billion years, as the Earth continues its epic journey, some form of life should continue. But the human species, which have walked the Earth for over two million years, and mastered it only in the last 10,000, may be in danger. As the environment transforms, Earth could well become unfit for humans. If that happens in the distant future, rather than be forced to face extinction like our predecessors, technology may allow us to leave Earth in search of new homes, other blue-green planets on which to make a new start.